Today we begin with the season of Advent. The word Advent means coming. It signifies the coming of Christ. But there is not only one, but three comings of Christ to us. His first coming was when he was born on Christmas. Second, Christ as the risen Lord manifests himself to us at any time or any day in the present. Third, the Lord will finally return at the end of time as the judge of the world. So the season of Advent does not only prepare us to commemorate with joy Christ's birth among us this Christmas time. Advent prepares us, invites us to prepare for all these comings. Today's Gospel asks us to prepare for Christ's final coming at an hour no one knows. Thus the big word addressed to us today by the Gospel is watch. Jesus tells us to watch for his return as the Lord of the house. He says to us, be watchful, be alert. How could we do that? Preparedness and anything does not happen at the last hour. A student could not prepare for the final examination at the last minute. No pilot could train to fly a plane overnight. One must prepare for it by studying or training daily. Similarly, we can only prepare to welcome Christ at any hour by being watchful all the time, every day, every hour of our lives. That means we must watch day and night for His coming in the present. It seems to me the best way to do that is to be aware that Christ manifests His presence to us daily through any person, experience, or situation, and then learn to respond to the Lord in faith, hope, or love. I understand that does not happen easily. When positive things happen to us, that's quite easy. For example, when one is hopeless to pass a board exam, and then all of a sudden the news came out, he was able to make it. Then he cannot but turn to the Lord with gratitude. But you know, that would be difficult on the other way around. When a man comes to us for help, we are invited by the Lord to turn to him and in an act of compassion to the man in need. And so, what we have to do is to learn to respond to God in both positive and negative experiences in life. I know a friend, a lawyer, who suffered cancer on the face of all places. That was 40 years ago. And then he received a miraculous healing. Since then, for the next years of his life, he didn't want his face to be repaired. Because every time he looks his face at the mirror, it reminds him how God loves him. And every time, he sees his face in the mirror. He gives thanks to God. When we are full of doubts in our faith, we can lose hope. But it's also an invitation for us to recognize God, asking us to put our confidence in Him. And so my brothers and sisters, what is important is that we learn to recognize the Lord's presence in both negative and positive experiences or situations in life. 
we will not only turn to the Lord with gratitude if someone helps us, but we have to turn to the Lord, responding to someone in need whenever someone comes to us for help. Recognizing Christ's presence through all persons and circumstances daily takes much time and effort. It does not happen easily. It does not come that fast into our lives. Think, for example, of a child. A child learns to recognize in time the face and voice and even the touch of his mother. Likewise, you and I can learn to eventually recognize the Lord. And I think there are three things that could help us. One is when we constantly encounter God in prayer. Second, when we become familiar with God's voice in the Holy Scriptures, in His Word, we get into the habit of listening to Him, allowing Him to speak to us through His Word in our moments of prayer, or we train ourselves to encounter God in the sacraments, especially the Holy Eucharist. Mother Teresa of Calcutta requires the sisters to spend an hour before the Blessed Sacrament, before going out to the streets to help people who are in need. So we can just simply put our confidence in God's unfailing grace to train us, to recognize His Son whenever He reveals Himself to us. St. Paul in the second reading today assures us, God is faithful and by Him you are called to fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And so my brothers and sisters, friends in Christ, Advent is now upon us. Let us keep watch to recognize our Lord's coming, not only this season of Advent, but every day of our lives. Music